Hello, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing today? Well, let me get serious. <laughs> let me get serious. Okay, uh, today we'll be discussing something very, very interesting. I'm kind of laughing because it's something that is going to bring joy to many farmers because it has been a whole lot of problem in farms. It's been a whole lot of problem in farms and it has made a whole lot of farmers to lose interest in farming. Uh, because it doesn't give you joy when you come to your farm and meet that uh, your your birds that you've been feeding, spending a whole lot of money feeding and taking care of and all that, they are being infested with disease and all that and you cannot really hold it. And sometimes you can't control them, you can't, you'll be running here and there buying drugs, buying different things, wasting money. I've had such experience before that I have to spend a whole lot of money buying drugs and taking care of my animals but at the end of the day uh, I, I could hardly break even in that particular season of my farm but I started studying and studying you know going through the internet researching and all that contacting a whole lot of people who have gone ahead of me in the farm and then I, I came to discover a lot even on, even on my own and from all the research I've got. That is what I want to share with you now that will help you so much. So um, I've dropped down a few things here. Uh, number one thing you have to do in order to be able to control disease effectively in your farm because a healthy farm is a growing farm. A growing farm is a profitable farm. Now, number one thing is avoid deep litter system. You understand? Avoid deep litter system. That is, in short, in fact, I'm emphasizing on it. Avoid deep litter system. I will explain to you why I'm saying that you should avoid deep litter system. I know that a whole lot of people are doing it, but try as much as possible to avoid deep litter system. Now, these are from some of the reasons why you should avoid deep litter system. Number one, right here in Nigeria, wood shavings are not that common anymore because a whole lot of people are into the business of farming and the uh, wood factories are not that much. And the best uh, 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 sawdust you need is not the, the, the ones that are so tiny that are derived from sawing woods, but the ones that are actually even reasonably best for deep litter system is uh, uh, wood shavings. Those are the ones that are even recommendable. But however, number one reason why you should avoid it is, number one, they are not common to get, it's hard to get, and you need to always change it every two to three days or four days else disease will fester in your farm so for you to cut away the previous one and bring in fresh one it costs you a lot number one you have to go to far places to go and start searching for sawdust which of course even like right here in Lagos is not readily available when you get to some places, you discover that even people as far as from Ibadan have come to, to book for it or pay for it or they have come to pack it away already. So that is it. That is number one. And number two, on that deep litter system, disease always have avenue to incubate. They always have avenue to incubate. Because most times they, 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 they feed roughly. They waste food, they, they, te they tend to waste food, and sometimes they, they pour water away and all that. And sometimes there could be leakage in your, uh, your, your drinker system and all that. And then wherever there is uh, uh, moisture, disease fester in those places, disease brood in that place, disease brood in that place. And when the disease are brooding right there and chicken don't, they don't give a damn wherever the food is coming from. They scratch everywhere and eat. As they are eating, they are ingesting those diseases and most especially coccidosis. 
Crocidosis, I tell you, is one of the biggest problems that farmers face. When you start seeing your chicken pooing blood, their poo becoming so reddish and creamy and all that, before you know what's happening, chickens lying here and there. So, those problems are prevalent under the depleter system. Number two, embrace cage system of farming. If you don't have enough space, if you don't have enough land, use cage system, as you can see around here. As you can see around here. Because this is the reason why you should use cage system. Disease is always communicable among birds via their excreta, via the chicken poop. Because they are always hungry, because chickens are always very hungry, most especially the broilers, they are always very hungry. And they don't even mind whether there is food in their feeder, they will still want to peck on their poop. So whichever of them is already infested with any of the diseases that we have, uh, that you know about, those diseases breed in those chickens and then come out some of them come out through the air scritter, and then another chicken will peck it, eat it, and then ingest the disease again. That means the disease has spread to that particular bird. And so you start having, you know, spreading of that disease. So in, in order to control it, use cage system. Because on that cage system, you see that when they pull it, drop off, they don't have access to other chicken around them, I mean to the poop, even their own poop, they don't have access to it. So with that, they don't easily contract disease. Number three point, embrace, if you have a large expanse of land, like let's say one foot plot, two plots, three plots, or one acre or thereabout. So what I will encourage you to do, which we shall be doing in our new site very soon, is by using chicken tractors. Chicken tractors is like mini cage you design to enable the chicken to, uh, to communicate with the grasses on the, you know, the, the grasses in the lawn. You make your, your farm look like a lawn, a very uh, massive expanse of land cleared to remain just only grasses. So these type of cages, minor cages, you do around to contain, let's say, from the range of 20 birds to 50 birds. Maybe you can also make it far bigger depending on your ability to, 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 to pull them. This cage, this a tractor, chicken tractors, permits them to communicate with the grasses as well as the food and water you have provided for them. And uh, in another video where I shall be dealing with an organic farm, which of course I'm practicing, you will understand why that, those grasses is very, 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 very important for the growth of your chicken, for their growth and for their health maintenance. You spend less of drugs on them because they are communicating with herbs. They are eating herbs, and then it's medicinal to them too. And it's also it also helps you to reduce the amount of money you spend on feeding them. So, with that, you are far, far, far away from most diseases. Thank you. <laughs>